All right, Billy Bones claims to have the best wings ever. Ever, I say. Let's see how they stand up to that claim. What it do, what it do, it's your boy Big Ben. We back again with something new. You already know if something new just came out, it's something new we gotta talk about. What's going on, everybody? How you guys doing? I got a jam-packed video, guys. A really good review. A lot of stuff I gotta get you. So let me just go ahead and get to it, guys. Today, we're doing a review. We're doing a unique collaboration with my people from the review crew. You know my food reviewers, right? So the theme for this collab is we are doing food around Memorial Day. You know, barbecue, you know, picnics, hanging with your family, with your friends, all that type of stuff. So I'm gonna be reviewing something, but before we hop into it, I first of all, for Memorial Day, I wanna say big salute Big thanks for all the people who sacrifice, who still serve in, families who has someone who served or someone who did serve, sacrifice, whatever the case may be. I appreciate you. Everything that you all are doing for our freedoms, right? So I just wanna say thank you, first of all, for that. And on that note, big shout out to one of my Ride or Die subscribers, Mr. Veteran Vlogs. Big salute to you, bro. Really appreciate your service. Appreciate you for rock with me, but more importantly, Appreciate your service, sir. Thank you. So let's get to it, guys. For this review, I am checking out something new from Billy Bones. If you haven't heard of Billy Bones, they claim to have the best wings ever, period. End of sentence, best wings ever. Billy Bones, oh, I gotta see if they stand up to their name. And this review is coming from one of my subscribers. Shout out to you, Tromley. My boy Ryan said, Ben, Ben, don't play. You can send me screenshots and stuff of these wings and they look pretty serious. So we are checking them out, guys. Here's a first look at the wings. Check these bad boys out. Now, I like these because they got a little personality. You know what I'm saying? They got a little flavor, flavor, a little burnt ends, you know, not burnt, but just a little flavor to them. You no, know, a little rotisserie. That's how they do their wings is rotisserie with the sauces on the side. I'm gonna show that to you guys. I'm gonna show the size I got, cause you know we ain't gonna do just the wings. We gotta see what the whole repertoire is from Billy Bones, you know what I mean? So Billy Bones, Billy Bones, that's a unique name. This place is in Granville, Michigan, just outside Grand Rapids, Michigan. Place looks serious, you guys, I'm not gonna lie, these wings look serious. Every time my guy Tromley picks these wings up, he raves about them. He raves about them, and Tramley don't miss. Tramley really doesn't miss either. So we got the wings. What else do we got? We got the cornbread. Check that out. We gotta see if that's official. We gotta see if that's official now. No Memorial Day cookout is complete without your baked beans. Yeah, right there. A big old bowl of baked beans. I don't want to tip it because we don't want a baked bean waterfall. We got some baked beans, okay? And then, you know you gotta have some mac and cheese at a cookout, at a picnic, you know what I'm saying? So we got the mac and cheese. Now usually I like a little bit of cheddar mac and cheese, but this look like that nice white cheddar Vermont mac and cheese. Shout out to you, Greg. I see you, Greg in Vermont. Um, and then the sauces that we're gonna dip these wings in, guys. We got the honey barbecue. We got the hot sauce. I think this is hot. Yeah, I think that's hot. Buffalo sauce, something like that. And then we got the habanero, the specialty sauce, okay? Price tag, all this, this is 12 wings, all this came to like $23, guys. So pretty good value, had 12 wings, the sides, cornbread, they got some meals, they got some ribs there, they got some brisket sandwiches there, a lot of stuff that you can find at Billy Bones, so you really can't go wrong, right? You can even find a hot dog for the kids, yeah. Fun fact, you can get a hot dog if you want for the kids. <laughs> um, all right guys, so let's hop into this without further ado. Happy Memorial Day again to each and every one of you. If you're watching this for Memorial Day or happy early Memorial Day, if you're watching this after the fact, you know, happy early Memorial Day 2022, 2023, whatever that looks like. Happy early Memorial Day, all right. All right guys, let's get into these wings. Here goes a wing by itself. I'm gonna get into one of these bad boys solo without the sauce and then we're gonna hop into the sauce. 
Last couple quick things, guys. Like I said, it's a collab with the review crew. You can find a link to everyone's channel below and see the reviews, what they eating on for Memorial Day. Show them some love. And last thing, if you finding me for the first time, where you been at? Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and rock with your boy, Big Ben. I'm always dropping reviews. All right, no more talking. Let's get to eating. Billy Bones. Best wings ever. Let's see how they do. Mm. I know they're not playing. Some things you know off the first bite. Trombley? Mmm. Woo, hold on now, Trombley. I see what you're talking about, sir. Right now, guys, first bite, just first impressions, real quick. First impressions. I feel like one of them kings at medieval times just Sir, more owl, more chicken, bring it. I think that's what they say, I don't know. All right, guys, this is for real. Mm. So tender, so moist. Ryan, Tromley, this is ridiculous, bro. Mm. This coming right out with the bone, guys. Wow. One wing down. Wow, is all I can say. W, O, W, 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 W. Wow. Yeah, this is for real. No exaggeration. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I wanna shut the camera down. I wanna eat myself happy. Again, I'm keeping it all the way 100, guys. This place is ridiculous. The flavor. You know, sometimes wings have sauces and stuff, guys. This has no sauce at this point, and this is crushing. You know, I've had Buffalo Wild Wings wings. Well, who other wings have I had? I've had some other place, I think, but guys, this place is, let me just shut up. Let me just keep eating. Hold on, oh, I just dabbled in that barbecue. Barbecue's looking vicious, guys. Let's take wing number two, and let's try out the Honey barbecue. Here we go. Wow. Oh, wow. Gabriel? Michael? The Archangel Zetchel? <laughs> this place is crazy. Guys, this, this might be a, a silent review for the rest of the review. I might just be eating wings on here. Honey barbecue, official. Definitely get this on your next trip to Billy Bones, definitely. These things falling apart on me. These wings are legit falling apart on me and I love that. This is ridiculous that I'm still going at this point in this review because this place is wild. The other thing that's ridiculous is I'm wearing the right shirt eating this. If I make it through this battle without anything on my shirt, I will be highly surprised. Okay, honey barbecue, official, official. Get it. Okay, wing number two. Let's do this hot sauce right here. Bang, bang. Now this might be that mild. I think this might be the mild of the buffalo. All right, here we go. Wing number two or wing three. Mmm, mmm. That hot sauce hit. Now I took it back. To say wing number three and I hit again. Ooh. Ooh, a little perspiration. A little perspiration, okay. I like this. I I really like this. Now I am not a hot sauce person, guys. Like I like it, but you know, it's just not my go-to. This right here, guys, definitely get the wild hot sauce on a regular basis. Definitely get that with the wings, guys. Check that out. Check that out right there. Check that out right there. Sauce is banging. Real nice kick, but real smooth. Real smooth. Mmm. Mmm. Just a perfect blend. Again, guys, look how I'm eating the wings. Just flying through them. I usually don't eat wings this fast. 
but the rotisserie, the way they cooked this and manicured it, I know you can't manicure wings, but they manicured the wings. I don't know. The way that they did it, guys, is crazy. Okay, let's keep it moving. Okay, the wild sauce, definitely get it. So far, the honey barbecue, 10 out of 10. The wild sauce, 10 out of 10. The wings, I wanna go higher than a 10 out of 10, but it's a 10 out of 10. All right, I'm, let me just keep it official. Let's get into the habanero sauce right here. Oh man, guys, this is, this is a pleasure. This is the way to do it right here. All right, let's get into this bad boy right here. I think it's honey habanero, habanero something. Let's get into this bad boy. Ooh, look at that. Look at that just glistening on there. That's crazy right there. No, y'all did. Just take me on a trip to Jamaica and back with that sauce. No, y'all didn't do that. I don't know who making these sauces, but they got somebody in there that knows what the heck they doing. This sauce is crazy. Nice little honey aspect to it, but has a little kick, nothing too crazy. You can tolerate it. You're gonna wanna tolerate it. Mmm. Mmm. This got me feeling like, you know them National Geographic episodes where they got bears, you know, they trapped their whole head in the beehive and getting the honey and stuff. That's what this habanero sauce is like. It's crazy. Probably best, ha yeah, best habanero sauce I've had, hands down. Mmm, it's so good. We gotta move on. We going to the sides now, guys, because I'm not eating no more of their wings on camera. Billy Bones wings. I'm not eating no more of your wings on camera, at least for this review. We're we gonna come back to the, try the mother sauces, but right now, mm -mm, no more wings. The wings are for real the best ever wings I've had. All the way 100. The best ever wings I had. I was a little skeptical. The fact that they're rotisserie with no sauces on itself, I was skeptical. I for real was. Going into review, I was like, I don't know about this, y'all. It's official. It's official. It's, a, it's, it's just good. Whoever thought of that concept, you're doing your thing. You're doing your thing. All right, let's keep the show rolling, guys. Let's, let's get into that thick cornbread. This boy, real thick. It's gonna put a little something on your hips, but it, from the feel of it, the squish of it, you're gonna like putting this on your hips. Let's put it in my mouth and see how it tastes. Mm-hmm. A little moisture lock in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get the cookout. You can come to the cookout, cornbread. You can come to the cookout. You know, life, you know that scene in life, you're gonna eat your cornbread. Are you gonna eat your cornbread? Because if you with me and you ain't gonna eat yours, or even if you are gonna eat yours, you better eat it quick, because I might take a cornbread. Mmm. This is good. This is official. This Tim. Yeah. This Tim. Mmm. That, oh, a little butter trapped up in there too. That cornbread's good. That cornbread is really good. Wow. Um, maybe I'm being too skeptical of that place. This, this, this thing, Billy Bones has me questioning my life right now, my whole thought process. Maybe I'm too skeptical because this is like a clean sweep. You guys know with my reviews, I usually take a little time and they give you the score at the end. Sometimes when things hit, they hit. Billy Bones is hitting. Let's get to this pork and beans. I mean, y'all can't do tens across the board, can you? Uh, that, no way, no way. I'm just gonna keep 100, no way. Here we go. Get y'all some of these pork and beans. I like we got some pork and beans. Do we got some bigger beans or these little lima beans? I'm not sure, I'm not a bean expert, but hold on. At this point, I'm trying to be critical a little bit. But I like these beans. This ain't no regular pork and beans. They got an extra bean in here. They got an extra bean doing some hanky-panky with the pork and beans. I don't know which one's in here, but these other beans getting it in with the pork and beans. They done came together and made a whole unit. I don't know if I'm making sense anymore because the food just too good. Okay, have I had better pork and beans? Yes. 
keep it all the way one. But this is a great pork and beans, I will say that. Score for the pork and beans. Number one, I'll smash this whole pork and beans, number one. Number two, I'm surprised at the level of these pork and beans. They're a little dark horse, just looking at them. Number three, score-wise, these are good. I'm gonna give these a little, a solid eight. These straight right here. Mm-hmm. They could be a nine. Really, the base of what they have is, is amazing. And you can add um, pork brisket to this if you want for an extra dollar. I probably should have did that to take it up a notch. But the base of what they got is good. You know, you add a little pork into there, you add a little bacon, something like that. You know, a little green beans, something, I don't know. Just add some to it, takes it up a notch. But the base formula of what they got with their pork and beans, absolutely amazing. Billy Bones, what y'all got right now is amazing. Let's try with this good old mac and cheese right here. Good old mac and cheese. Like I said, I like the cheddar mac and cheese, but this is the Vermont white cheddar, I think. I don't know, I'm making that up. But it looks like it, right? There we go. Nice little bite. That white mac and cheese, here we go. Mm -hmm. Y'all trying to blow me all the way up. I know what y'all on, Billy Bones. I know what y'all on, Billy Bones. And I might come along for the journey. <laughs> this is some really good mac and cheese. Creaminess, banging. The noodle itself, done to like a perfection. The combination of the flavors, like it's just, it's a very rich um, mac and cheese. Like there's, you know, maybe add a little pepper on here, but it's just, it's a very solid mac and cheese. Mm-hmm. Let me give you an analogy. You know how sometimes if you like UFC or if you like boxing, you may like a fighter who's a little a little over the top with their moves, right? A little over the top with their ego, some kicks, crazy stuff, right? And sometimes you see someone who's just really good on their foundations, their tactics, right? Nice little jab, right? Nice little hook, nothing crazy. It ain't showboat, nothing like that. That's what this mac and cheese is like. It ain't doing nothing crazy by appearance, but the fundamentals is where it's at. You can call this the Tim Duncan mac and cheese if you want, and uh, he'll probably agree with you. Mm-hmm. Real fundamental. Mm. 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 It's good. I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say eight, and I, I'm kind of mad at myself. I think I should say 8.5. I'm gonna go eight though. That was my first gut reaction, but I was torn. I was really torn between 8.5, but it's amazing. Billy Bones, y'all almost took over the whole Memorial Day celebration, what we here for. But what you got is crazy. What you got is crazy. I'm about to smash some more of these wings off camera, because like I said, I'm not doing another wing in this review. Mm. Ooh, I tasted that right there. Mm. Okay, put you down, be focused. Guys, Make sure to check out the Review Crew. Links to their channels below. You can check out their collab, what they did for Memorial Day. Again, most importantly, I wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who served, everyone who has a family member who served, cause you out there serving with them, making sure everyone gets through it. To all of our soldiers, uh, also those who, who we lost, sadly, I just wanna say thank you because again, we can't do this or nothing without you guys, right? You guys gave us our freedoms, and so I sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, wanna appreciate you, because that's what Memorial Day is all about, is thank you for your service, so that way we can have our freedom. So guys, that's the review. Hopefully you have a fun time today on Memorial Day with your family and your friends. Tell someone you love them. Love you guys for rocking with your boy, Big Ben. That's the review. As always, if you like the video, if you rock with me the whole time, please leave a like. Don't share it once, share it twice. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next on something new. And whether you're a regular or a first timer, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell reminder. Catch you guys next time. Peace.